So, maybe you can guess what this video is about. My name is Annalise and welcome to my outfit check videos. I drop these every other week and they feature styling tips from moi. So, make sure you subscribe to not miss out on anything. But it is the big question. What should you be wearing at a wedding? Now, we have to remember, it is 2019, and so those wedding fashion rules are definitely bending slightly. However, there are some cardinal rules that you definitely shouldn't be breaking, like leave your veils, tiaras, crowns, at home, because you don't want to play around with that game, trust me. But I'm not at a wedding, so I'm gonna keep mine on. Another rule we should not be breaking, nightclub party dresses are a no-no. No, just no. Today is not the day for it. We don't want to leave with anything that is ass, tits and cooch, like not at all. Ultimately, we want to follow any dress code that is given and of course be respectful of the bride and groom and their special day. Now, for me, sometimes I feel like I have to tone down my style or dress more conservative for a wedding, but you really don't have to. You can still have fun with colors, prints, etc. Now, of course, there are some more safe options. I always feel like you cannot go wrong with florals and a ruffle. This is a really cute jumpsuit I've got going on here. I actually wore this to my friend's wedding last year. But in this video, I wanna push the envelope a little. I wanna show you that some of the things you thought you couldn't wear to a wedding, you actually can. You can indeed, and I'm starting off with white. Yes, white. Hear me out. I actually think it's perfectly acceptable to wear wide leg trousers, skirts or culottes with a different colour on top. It is definitely a no for head to toe white outfits and we should for sure be keeping away from tall. And sheer clothing? Some people say it's not tasteful, but that's not totally the case. It's all about how you do it. If you're going to have sheer on the top, we don't want to have any undergarments on show. That's no bras, no bralettes, no nipple tassels. We definitely don't want to give Auntie Jean a heart attack. So yeah, we are definitely getting brave now, but let's keep pushing those boundaries. When I first started doing a bit of research for this video, I think it was an online magazine like on Cosmo or something, they said you can't wear shorts to a wedding. I was like, come on, if a wedding is in the height of summer or maybe abroad, I actually think it's perfectly okay for men to wear tailored shorts that complement their suit jackets. I think that women can do the same as well. I think a printed suit cohort is a great option to go for. Just make sure that your shorts aren't batty riders. That's a no-no. But let's talk about animal print. It's probably not the most tasteful print out there. I heard somebody else say that you couldn't wear animal print to a wedding, and I think you can. I think you should just look to cover the shoulders, maybe do it in a lighter fabric, nothing too heavy or clingy. The jumpsuits are a fabulous idea, especially if you don't feel like wearing a dress. And remember, I was talking about no veils, crowns or tiaras. Yes, that definitely still stands, but you can get away with a headband. Or even cat ears. So yes, those wedding fashion rules are definitely changing. What you thought was a no-no could in fact be a yes, yes. You can definitely get creative at a wedding and show your style while staying in the bride's good books. I hope you liked my video. Make sure you comment below and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Wedding outfit check.